Well, let's talk about uh, another member of the horseman. There was a fellow running around back then named Rick flair that, uh, we, we, if we're going to talk about the horseman, we probably got to talk about, give us some Rick flair memories, uh, Tully, uh, your favorite Rick flair stories, either in the ring or out of the ring. <laughs> I thought you said we weren't going to get dicey. We don't have to, which is why I left it open ended. I'll go wherever you want to go. Well, fortunately for me, I have forgot most of the Ric Flair stories, and it's kind of just a, a blur in the past. Um, but it is I can I can remember uh, when they were grooming grooming Flair to be the world champion. And he came down to San Antonio uh, to wrestle uh, a couple spots when my dad and I had had our own territory. And uh, you know, Rick Rick was a guy like Arn. I mean, you could just see the natural talent and flamboyance. And uh, from the first time they stepped in the ring, when they were still relatively uh, newcomers to the profession. And you could just see the the excitement that they could generate with fans. And uh, Flair was Flair was a member of the Horsemen, and it was not Ric Flair with leading the three horses. We were all equal parts of the four Horsemen, which I think is a unique situation. Whereas a lot of other teams either were led by the manager or led by one of the guys or, or something like that. But it was, you know, we could stand alone on the U S championship or when Arn and I were the world tag team champions, you know, that kind of stuff were, it was just as strong as flair being the world champion. And, uh, that was, uh, one of the unique things of, about the group when we were put together. Arn, do you think you guys would have ever been tag uh, a tag team, you and Tully, if it weren't for the Horsemen? I mean, at different times, you were both single stars ha- holding individual singles titles. But then I think through the Horsemen, you guys became a tag team, and obviously it became a tag team that so many teams, even to this day, pattern their style after. Would it have happened without the Four Horsemen? Uh, I believe everything happens because of timing. Timing in this business is everything. And sometimes it's just be it not being booked and walking in the back door and having your gear with you. And some guy gets shows up and he's got 105 temperature and can't wrestle. And you get a chance to, Hey man, you got your gear. And a guy gets a break like that. I truly believe us being on that interview that day was the launching pad of something great. And if that promo had never happened, then that thought would have never happened in my head. And, and who knows? I don't think so. It it was meant to be that we're on that promo together that day. And it just jailed. It just worked. And, uh, I think that the key component, there was two key components to us. Rick style was Rick style. He's the consummate showman entertainer. Tully Blanchard was a technician that was very unlikable to the fans. It was what he was one of those guys that not one person in that building could stand him and they wanted him to get his ass kicked. Ole Anderson was the real tough guy of the group. And I was somewhere trying to blend my style bring the action that Tully Blanchard brought to the ring or to a match and blend it in with a little Ole Anderson. And, and Hey, not only that, you want to kick my ass, you're going to have to kick my ass because there ain't going to be no easy path to get there. And we were all so different that you could take pieces out. You mentioned earlier about working with dusty. If, if Tully and Magnum went off to headline, uh, one of the towns that Flair was out traveling, defending the world championship somewhere else. They could send me and Dusty to one of the other towns, and it was just business as usual. The guy was over. No matter what you say, he was a huge star. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.